Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am finally uploading part two of my clean and decorate video. And um, in the last part, we started on the kitchen and living room. And today we are finishing the bathroom and the bedroom. And then we are going to put some Christmas decor up. So I'm starting here in the bathtub. And that concoction you saw me make in the beginning was a little bit of white vinegar, some Dawn dish soap, and some really hot water. And I just spray this all over my shower and bathtub and it's honestly been a mixture that I have used for many, many years in the bathroom and I absolutely love it. It melts away any soap scum or any Thing that you have going on in your bathroom I just let it sit there um, spray it on and I put a little bit of baking soda on with it as well and then um, you'll see me here in a little bit I use a broom and just scrub it down with a broom you can also use one of those handled um, scrubber brushes that have the long handle on it if you don't want to get down and scrub around in your bathtub but I do not have one of those so I've just used this Dollar Tree broom and honestly it works pretty well for me so I just sprayed that down and I've let that sit while I kind of organize some other things so I sprayed down the shower and now I am organizing the shelves behind my toilet Honestly, I have a pretty small bathroom, so it takes me um, a good while to organize this because I don't really have a whole lot of space to put things, and I have a lot of bathroom products, makeup, hair, um, tampons, feminine products, all that kind of stuff, and not really a lot of space to put it in. Um, so yeah, that's why there's kind of stuff laying all around. But I just clean up the toilet with the brush and then I always take Lysol wipes in the bathroom to clean up any germs and um, it's just easier to use the wipes than it is to use the spray here. Usually I use the Lysol on all of my house, but here I actually use the wipes instead of the spray just because like I said it's easier. And I don't really think anybody needs a description of how to clean your toilet, so we'll just skip over a voiceover for this part, but I literally just scrub everything down with Lysol and try to get all the germs taken care of in the bathroom, which honestly is my least favorite part of cleaning, but it has to be done, so. And then I have this cabinet behind my toilet that I bought. I think I got this at Walmart. It was in my last apartment and I just clean it down. Um, honestly, it doesn't really hold a whole lot of very productive things. It mainly just holds all my dolphin stuff because I'm obsessed with dolphins. They are my favorite animal, if nobody knows, and I've always wanted to have a dolphin bathroom so in every house that I've lived in I've always had my dolphin stuff displayed um, and so I just love it I could probably utilize more space um, for products and hair care and bathroom products if I took down all this dolphin stuff but honestly I love my dolphins and I have been collecting all these dolphin knickknacks for many many years um, ever since I was a kid I started collecting and always wanted to have dolphins in my bathroom so I love my dolphin bathroom and probably will never get rid of it but here I am going back after I cleaned that cabinet go back to the bathtub and use that Dollar Tree um, broom that I told you that I use and I just scrub it down really good get it very sudsy it suds up really good um, and honestly like I said with the Dawn and vinegar 
and water mixture you don't really have to scrub it a whole lot anyways um, it kind of melts that soap scum and any other dirt you have in your shower away so it makes it very easy to clean so it doesn't take a whole lot to do this and then I just take a cup and rinse kind of everything out and then later I'll also turn on the shower and rinse it And then once the bathroom is clean, the bathtub is clean, I just put every product back in there. And typically I shut the shower curtain, but I didn't in this vlog because I just like it open um, while I'm cleaning. And then I move on to the sink, which is a whole hot mess. Um, my mom had been staying with me. She had came over and stayed with me one night. So some of her stuff was left here and it was just a whole mess of having two people in this bathroom so again I sprayed it down with a little bit of water and vinegar mixture um, that Dawn water and vinegar mixture I mean and then I wipe it down with some Lysol wipes make sure everything looks clean there I also cleaned the mirror but for some reason I think it cut off when I cleaned the mirror um, which I do that before I put all these products back on here but um, I don't know why it didn't film that but I did clean the mirror as well and I just clean all this down and like it to be nice and shiny and sparkling and then I organize this little caddy that I have there that's kind of just like my everyday products and I just kind of organize it to where I can easily grab stuff in the morning um, so I like doing that here I am cleaning out my little toothbrush holder just because that thing gets gross um, so I take a little knife and a washcloth and wipe the bottom of it out because I don't want any mold or anything getting in that and yeah that's pretty much everything I do for the kitchen or the bathroom I can't even tell you what room I'm cleaning in it's been such a long week right before Christmas so I apologize for not getting this video up sooner it was actually filmed way back in November, like the weekend before Thanksgiving, and I just have been so busy in the month of December that I haven't had a chance to get anything up. I haven't had much of a chance to get anything up for you guys, so I apologize. It's not the filming that I can't do, it's the editing. But here is the final product of the bathroom. Um, again, there's still some stuff behind my commode that I would like to figure out what to do with. But this is the final product, and like I said, normally I put the shower curtain down. I don't know why I didn't in this video, but there I'm kind of doing it after the fact. And then mopping the floors, and that's it for the bathroom. Now moving on to my bedroom and this honestly is the room that probably gets the most neglected because it's the one that I am in the least. I basically come in here to change clothes and to sleep and occasionally I do laundry or watch some YouTube videos in here but for the most part I am not in this room very often. So this is kind of where all my stuff gets hidden. So. That's just how that goes. Here I am just making the bed and trying to figure out which way that this comforter actually goes. I love this comforter. It is from Laura Ashley and I have been in love with it for forever. I know this bedroom is very girly and I'm sure my future husband or boyfriend would not like sleeping in a room that is covered with pink floral and butterflies and all that kind of stuff, but honestly, I love it and 
yeah honestly and I've been trying to figure out different ways to make my bed I've made my bed the same way that for years but I honestly kind of like the fact that some people do it like catty corner do their blanket catty corner so I might start doing that um, but here I'm just doing it the normal way that I'm used to doing and again I'm not in here very often so it doesn't really matter to me um, but I had just got home from my mom's house this weekend so this room has clothes everywhere like I have tons and tons of clothes in that laundry basket that I need to fold and put away and so this is kind of just what I'm doing here is putting some clothes away cleaning off my dresser I think I throw a load of laundry in the mix um, while I am cleaning this room but again it's just very neglected in here things get thrown all over my dresser all the time and I just wanted it clean and again I do this about once a month I do a full deep clean of my house um, but after the first of the year I'm going to be doing a lot more decluttering for the first month so you guys stay tuned for that I have a ton of clothes and extra furniture and knickknacks and stuff that I need to go through and get rid of and I really want to focus on getting my spare bedroom put in order which right now it's coming along but I need a mattress for my spare bedroom um, for when people come to stay with me so we're gonna be working on that we're gonna go through some of the extra stuff that I have in my spare bedroom that I don't need anymore and we're gonna get rid of that because honestly I don't need all that stuff junking up my house so here I am after I cleaned all of my bedroom and then I just, I always start in the living room and I vacuum in the living room and then come all the way through the hallway and then vacuum my bedroom and I honestly love doing this. It makes my floors feel so much better and I love how a fresh vacuumed floors feel on your feet. So I just vacuum and after this we finally will get to start on Christmas decorating. And here is my final clean bedroom. I realized I forgot to take the little trash can out beside my bed, but this is what it looks like all clean. And again, a little bit of laundry still in the hamper, but you know, it is what it is. Laundry always has to be done in my household. And I feel like most households, households, um, but I love this. I absolutely am obsessed with my bedroom and I love it so much so this is what it looks like all clean and ready and now we finally finally get to start putting up the christmas tree so i just pull this out of my spare bedroom with all the other junk that's in there and i get to finally start putting up the tree and it has been two years now since i've gotten to decorate my house for christmas this time last year i actually lived with somebody so my Christmas stuff was in storage, so it was fun to go through all of this Christmas stuff that you see in this giant box here in a minute and figure out what I want to keep and where to put stuff because last time I decorated for Christmas, I was in a completely different space and I forgot honestly what all I had for Christmas. So it was fun to go through and pick this out. But this is what my Christmas tree looks like. And honestly, I ended up um, redoing this off camera and putting some um, tinsel in the middle to kind of fill in the big blank spaces. Um, next year, I probably am going to end up getting a little bit of a bigger tree. This one is only a six foot tree. But honestly, it was the first tree that I ever bought on my own for my own place a couple years ago when I lived on my own. And I really liked it and it does the job for now but I do eventually want to get a bigger prettier tree 
um, but this one is gorgeous for now and I love it. So here I am just fluffing up the leaves and it's a pre-lit tree so luckily I don't have to put anything on it but I just fluff, the, fluff this up a little bit try and fill in some of the gaps. Obviously I didn't fill in all of the gaps which is why I went back in with tinsel but here I am just going through and making sure it works and it still lights up and then I go through and get this huge box of Christmas stuff and start going through it. I actually got a FaceTime call from one of the girls that I used to go to church with while I was doing um, this decorating. So you'll see me on FaceTime throughout this video. But I tried to cut out the parts of where I'm not doing anything, just sitting. So that tinsel also you saw me just pull out is what I end up going back and putting. And here I am just going through stuff and remembering what stuff I have to even put up and starting to get ideas and starting to find bulbs to put on the tree. And I just love going through all this. So here I am just decorating the tree and running back and forth. I don't know exactly what all I was doing, but here I am probably on FaceTime texting and getting ideas of what to do getting the gears turning so then I just start decorating we go right into it and start putting stuff up and this was honestly so much fun and I loved going through and seeing all this stuff that I hadn't seen for two years so I love it and there I am showing Sue my Christmas tree um, Sue and Pap I love them to death um, if they ever watch this they probably won't but um, if they ever do, that's who I was talking to and I love you guys and thank you for keeping me company while I decorate my tree because honestly, some days it gets very lonely living alone. So it was exciting to have somebody to help decorate a tree with, even if it is over the phone. And then I honestly got roped into doing a Bible study this night with Sue and Pap is who I'm talking to, Sue and Charlie, but we call them Sue and Pap. Um, after this so in between one of these clips I ended up had to having to sit down and do a Bible study over FaceTime which was fun because I haven't really been much involved in the church since leaving my home church about a year ago now and so it was really nice to be involved and get to sit down with people that I used to do church with and do it with them but here we are nonetheless I'm rambling um, I'll let you guys just tune into the video and see me decorating. It's so funny for me to watch this clip back and you can clearly see Sue and Pap on the other end of the phone on FaceTime. But I just sat my phone up there and talked to them and went through and put some hooks on all my bulbs and just had fun decorating and talking to people because like I said, again, it gets kind of lonely living alone. Although most days I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love the freedom that I have. But other days, it's it's a little bit hard, and around the holidays, it gets a little bit hard. But again, I wouldn't trade it for the world, and I'm not complaining. But it was so nice to be able to talk to somebody while I do this. And then here you see me 
I'm going through and putting some of the stuff away on this little entryway into my living room. I have a sign there that says the date and those little snowmen that you saw me putting up, me and my mom actually went to a workshop in my hometown and we ended up making those cute little things and they are so cute. They're literally just wooden slabs that are cut out like snowmen and I honestly don't think I had a picture of them either but maybe I can find one and try to insert it here for you. But they're cut out like snowmen and we painted them and then you can put little like um, scarves and ribbons and different stuff on them to make them look like a snowman. But as you can see, while we were in the middle of our Bible study, I made a mess of the box that I had just going through and deciding what I wanted to take out of it and what I am probably going to get rid of. So in the mix, I had to go back and clean up everything, but I found my tree skirt. And so I am putting this up, trying to make it look perfect, crawling under the tree, looking kind of weird now that I watched the clip back. But this is what you have to do when you live alone and you put your Christmas tree in a corner and you have to crawl back there and straighten it out and make sure it looks good. And honestly, I love it. It turned out so good. And like I said, a couple days later, I ended up going back and putting tassel in those little spots. But this garland you're getting ready to see me put up, I actually had to run out to Hobby Lobby and get garland because I've never had garland up like this. But as soon as I knew that I was getting this apartment. This is the first thing that I thought about doing. Since I don't have a mantle or anything to put up, I knew I wanted to put up garland here and I even considered putting stockings up here. But then I found this cute little sign that I'm hanging now and it says meet me under the mistletoe and it's so cute and adorable and I just love it. And so I knew from the very beginning that I wanted to put garland up like this and Hobby Lobby had it for really cheap this lighted garland. Ideally, I would like to have a more full garland. Um, this one is just a little cheapy garland that is not super full, but it does the job. And again, with my budget this year, it just, it still looks cute. It just, I would prefer to have a more beefy, um, thicker kind of prettier garland, but this honestly worked for this year. And eventually when I have a home or have children, I will get better. And again, it took me a little bit to arrange this how I like it, but honestly, it turned out so good. I ended up getting an extension cord and plugging it in on one of the sidewalls, and I just love how this turned out. Alright guys, so this is what the final look ended up being and honestly after this I ended up changing a little bit of items and adding some little bulbs um, and I did put some garland around my TV stand. You guys um, didn't get that on camera for whatever reason. Um, I think my memory was just so full but I did end up getting some garland around my TV and I just absolutely love how this turned out. This is my kitchen table from the last video. If you guys want to go back and see that, you can.
but I just love how this turned out and like I said I ended up going back and putting some bulbs in my garland that's on my TV and some little um, candy cane things that actually were my grandma's on a light set one time and my mom kept them for many many years and I just placed them on there which I'll show you guys a picture of here in just a little bit but this is how the final product turned out and I honestly love it and I really hope you guys enjoy it as well and I hope I gave you some inspiration for it if you did enjoy it leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys all in my next video I hope you all have a Merry Christmas bye